down and 20 for Texas A&M. What a run. Now going to throw, lobs it out, and he's got a man open at the 40. That's Jaborski Lane, and Lane may have the first down, and in fact he will at the 45-yard line. First down, Texas A&M at their own 46. Pass thrown complete, another first down inside the 40 and down to the 38-yard line. That's Irving Taylor on the receiving end of that Stephen McGee pass. Good start for McGee, three of three for 36 yards so far. Blitz coming from Texas from the short side of the field. Pass thrown complete and Goodson stays on his feet at the 30, 25, cuts it back inside and he may score. 10, 5, touchdown, Mike Gibson, 35 yards. Knowing Corey was going to trail, that's great vision and great balance to get out of that arm tackle. Show a play that came within a breath of being a loss of three to four yards winds up being a 35-yard touchdown. And when you talk to that pass away as well, so that's why Thomas is on the back of his jersey today. Well, that pass by Colt McCoy, way overthrown. And McCoy knocked down after the ball was delivered by Kellen Hurd. A sophomore, Obanaya checks into the ball game at tailback, replacing Jamal Charles. McCoy hit, gets the ball away, and unless he's got a receiver close by, that might be intentional grounding, as Henry Smith was all over it. It is fourth down. Is the rushes that are go that, that are taking place are really starting to force Colt McCoy to go faster and not go through his reads? Ed, they just finally got, as you would say, got their heads handed to them by the coaches there just a minute. A little more and let McGee throw it a few more times. Javorski Lane right up the middle, head down, has five, has ten, cut it off at 12 yards. As Lane got a hit inside of their own 15-yard line for the third time in their last five drives. Stephen McGee, play action. Going to go on top, and he goes right over the middle and has it to his tight end. McGee, pressure, throws it complete, and that's Brown. And Pierre Brown is going to half the first year. So on second and ten, again play action, and the ball delivered. Got one-on-one -on -one coverage, and it is caught at the 15-yard line and a first and 10 carry. Oh, as far as ball identification, and he did not know it was there until it was already being uh, granted. Could he drive him 95 yards? Well, he had a lot of help from some different people, but A&M just went 95 yards to make it a 17 to nothing ball game. On the sideline, trying to stay loose. McCoy, and now throws deep. And the ball is intercepted by Texas A&M. Jordan Shipley was trying to come back and get it. And because now the Aggies on top, 17 to 10. Just under 10 minutes to play in the third quarter. It's been in motion. And a quick pass out to the right side. And the defensive back for Texas had fallen down. Pierre Brown makes the reception. Going to throw this one. Swings the pass out at the 35 to Taylor. And Taylor still in the field of play. Close to the first down. Semi limping toward the huddle. And right when I say no pressure from the front, you get it with a blitz from the outside. Yeah, and that was Kellen Hurd who hit the top of McCoy's helmet as he went by. And underneath of that was Lucas Patterson. And it was the high low that separated the ball. the corner and Goodson turns it up at the 10. It'll be first and goal at the five yard line. Player wearing number 17. He lines up the block on the left side. And they try to run it inside at the two, at the one. Touchdown, Texas A&M. They should all be very proud of themselves of how they play. Pass near sideline, and he's got Dixon on a wheel route. Dixon, 10, 5, touchdown, Texas A&M. Of 11 at third down conversions. Lane 
the ball game. He's there to block. Quick pass up in the middle, and the tackle is broken by Taylor. It's a foot race, 30, 25, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, 67 yards. So McCoy, good pickup on the blitz, looking, and he's going to be sacked at the 39. Ball is loose. AM and ball. Kellen Hurd is the man who caused the fumble. Boy, and, and Texas had this defender. That's Brian Arakpo, and you just, what a move by Goodson. You know, we've, we've seen this team a couple of times this year, and you've got to think, no matter what happens during the offseason, no matter who no, I, I, I think I think they'll drop a spotter. I agree. I'm trying to give them a little bit of help. <laughs> but I'm with you, yeah. 29 ticks showing on the clock. Third down, but that's not the most important thing for the Aggies. You see Stephen McGee, he's just going to fall down on the football, and now... 24 seconds. They don't even have to run a play. The 25 second clock does not need to be started. The Texas A&M Aggies are going to upset the Texas Longhorns and beat them two years in a row. Final this game is going to be A&M 38 to 30.